Hey everybody, I'm in the back of my truck in the middle of winter and it is freezing. Now taking a look at the thermometer, it's right around 25 degrees and the night just started. And the goal of this video is to see if I can stay warm even though it's below freezing using one of the most efficient ways to heat yourself and that's using a 12 volt blanket. So I'm actually on my large memory foam pad. I'm in my sleeping bag, which is a zero degree bag. And then on top of that, I have a 12 volt blanket. And to trap all that heat in, I'm using a wool blanket. So uh, kind of different layers here, but I'm hoping I stay warm because right now I am freezing, uh, basically waiting for everything to heat up. Now to power the 12 volt blanket, I am using the new EcoFlow River 2 Pro, which is the largest of the River 2 series lineup. Um, I just got it for review, so I thought this would be a great way to test it out. I have the 12-volt blanket plugged into that, and it's pulling around 45 watts, so it'll easily get through the night. Now, my camera batteries would die super fast in this cold temp, so I'm also using a different power station to keep my camera running, so we'll see how that goes. I plan on doing a time lapse to see how well I sleep throughout the night. Now, I just crawled in my sleeping bag, and I noticed my breath is, like, totally visible. Check this out. <sighs> Oh my goodness, it is freezing in here. What am I doing? Well, good night, everyone. Good morning, guys. I just checked the footage on my camera and it didn't work. So apparently my camera doesn't work when it's this cold. I just checked the thermometer and it is below 20 degrees. So it is so cold. Now, surprisingly, the EcoFlow is still going and uh, I am really warm in my sleeping bag. So I thought I'd show you guys the EcoFlow screen sitting at 66% and we can see we're pulling 43 watts. My water bottle, completely ice. <laughs> I didn't think that would freeze overnight, but it just shows you how cold it was. So yeah, EcoFlow still working even though it's this cold. I stayed warm and uh, there's Quite a bit of life left in the EcoFlow. So does this work? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay guys, I'm back inside. I've had a chance to warm up. Now, this was a really fun video. I enjoyed testing out to see how a 12 volt blanket and a wool blanket would keep you warm while sleeping in a cold vehicle. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I picked up both these products with my own money. Now, if you're interested in doing the similar thing, I will have the links to these down in the video description because these are both affordable products and they worked really well. Now, of course, there are other ways to stay warm while uh, camping in your vehicle. You have diesel heaters, you have propane heaters, you also have electric heaters. Now, I think one of the safest options is using one of these micro heaters. Now, this one is awesome because it's a dual heat mode and it has a tip over sensor so this would be one i would recommend this is a honeywell version on low mode it actually pulls around 150 watts a little bit less and on high mode it pulls around 250 watts and for a small enclosed area 150 watt heater is actually going to keep you quite warm so this is going to pull around 1200 watt hours over an eight hour period so you're going to need a little bit bigger power station than this for example, if you had a 2000 watt hour power station, you could easily run this small heater on low throughout the entire night. So just some things to think about. Now, I really wanna hear from you guys. If you guys have experience sleeping in the cold in a vehicle, throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys use and how you guys stay warm. Also, I will be doing a full review on the EcoFlow River 2 Pro on the channel in the future. So if you guys don't wanna miss that, you may wanna subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video.